think about the lift we got by moving from rule-based systems to machine learning. What if I tell you that we can get an additional lift with causal machine learning? For example, in a marketing campaign, by identifying customers for whom sending a coupon will increase engagement. My name is Adi, I'm a research scientist at PayPal, and in the past year and a half, I dived into this fascinating world of causal inference and causal machine learning, and I'm happy to share with you today what's in it for data scientists. What is causal machine learning? It's a combination between causal inference and machine learning. Causal inference is a fast-growing field with strong mathematical foundations. In causal inference, we strive to learn cause and effect patterns from data, while in machine learning, we learn statistical patterns, correlations. In machine learning, we mainly seek a mapping between features X and outputs labels Y. In causal inference, we introduce a new central component to this formulation, T, the treatment or action we take. And one of the main tasks is to estimate the causal effect of T on the target variable Y. Remember the coupons example? So estimating the causal effect of sending a coupon to a customer on her engagement can help us identify the best target audience for our marketing campaign. Where is the machine learning? So machine learning models are integrated within the causal inference framework, and they are helpful, especially with big and high dimensional data, they are estimating actually intermediate quantities within this formulation. Causal effect estimation is being used by many um, industry leaders in their applications and it's already providing business value. And one evidence for that is the great availability of uh, Python open source packages that, um, uh, that are implementing these methods. Okay, so it's great to see causal machine learning already provides us business value, but not every data science use case easily fits into the causal inference framework. So fortunately, Causal machine learning work streams, uh, there, are, there are very interesting causal machine learning work streams that uh, solve more general data science challenges. As data scientists, we usually train a machine learning model, which is then being integrated into a broader decisioning system that takes actions to improve some business KPIs. One of um, the main challenges, one of a challenge, okay, not maybe not the main, but a challenge of um, such correlation-based models is their out-of-distribution generalization. When the data distribution in production differs from the data distribution during training time, models' performance can deteriorate. Causal machine learning um, gives us a very interesting perspective, and there are many works that utilize ideas from causality to tweak the training process to learn um, to do what is called causal representation learning, to reduce the effect of spurious correlations, and train overall a better generalizing model. Another challenge comes when we try to design a policy on top of an already trained machine learning model. Can we optimize um, a personalized policy end-to-end -end from features to actions? For example, in the fraud detection case, Given transaction features, should we approve or decline this transaction considering our fraud prevention KPIs? Causal machine learning approach for policy learning provides us a framework to explicitly or implicitly um, estimate what would happen if we take each of these actions in order to optimize an overall end-to-end -end policy. For conclusion, one thing I would like you to remember is that, is that causal machine learning is already providing us business value. We talked about causal effect estimation, the potential of causal representation learning and policy learning. Obviously, there is no magic. It takes hard work to learn the theory, to get to know your data generating process, and to evaluate these methods without a ground truth. Being invested in this field in the past year and a half, I really encourage you 
to experiment and learn about um, causal machine learning. I believe this way we can uh, leverage its potential, realize its potential, and overall bring the business value lift we are always looking for. Thank you so much for listening. I would be happy to continue this discussion later.